Right now, Coral Gables police are keeping a close eye on the home of a man who neighbors say threatened a Coral Gables officer and his family. It's not the first time he's made a threat like this. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live with the active scene tonight. Janine. And Nicole, just a few minutes ago, we actually got pushed back and you can see this street is blocked off. Police are here right now. We can tell you that we have been told that the person inside that house had apparently been making threats to a Coral Gables police officer and his family. So no doubt a tense situation tonight. Officers here on scene telling us that they want to make contact with him and they want it to be peaceful. I want to show you video from just moments ago. We can tell you that Miami-Dade priority response team is also here. Officer Officers not taking any chances. Just before 10 p.m., even more police arrive at this home in Coral Gables, some in unmarked trucks, officers in plain clothes. They've been here on Campo Sano Avenue since Tuesday. Sources say the man who lives here, 43 year old William Hartnett, made death threats towards a Coral Gables police officer and allegedly found that officer's parents' house and made threats there as well. Some neighbors tell us it's unnerving. I understand he personally threatened him and his family and children to kill them. Records show Hartnett has been in trouble before. In 2021, he pleaded guilty to federal charges after the Justice Department said he made death threats against Eric Nelson, the attorney who defended former Minneapolis cop Derek Chauvin, who killed George Floyd, a case that made national headlines. Prosecutors say he left a voicemail saying, hey, you and your whole F family are going to F die. Hartnett was sentenced to four years of probation, which he's currently still serving. As for what police are doing here now, whether an arrest is imminent is unclear. No one has come in or out of this house all night. Once again, you are looking live at this scene. We can tell you that some police officers it looked like maybe at one point were leaving the house. They had gone onto the property and then they started leaving. So it's not clear if they had done a door knock and didn't see anybody. This is a developing situation. But once again, not only are Coral Gables police here, but also the Miami-Dade priority response team. Once again, if this is a person who, according to our sources, made threats against a Coral Gables police officer and then his family, they don't want to take any chances. It's a developing story. Story, if anything comes of it, uh, at least in this newscast, we will bring it to you. We're in Coral Gables tonight. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.